Good morning, guys. Oh my god, check out the morning face. I am up bright and early. It's freaking 7 a.m. Well, I got up at 6:30 ish. Um, and I'm doing a live with Riley today, so I'm gonna set my camera up so you guys that miss it on my Instagram can watch it here. So I'm gonna set you guys up. Hopefully, this is all right. Is that all right? Um, but I need to go and call her and FaceTime her before I jump on a live with her. Oh my God, it's cold. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Here we go. How do I do it? Oh, here we go. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong account. Hold on. All right, let's set you guys up. I did it like five minutes ago, mate. Oh, hi. What's up? Not much. It's freaking cold here on the other side of the world, pretty much. Lucky. Lucky. It's still hot as here. It's really, it's freezing. It's probably like 16 degrees, which is cold for me. That's Bring your hallway table around. Oh, surely not. That's not good. Hang on. I can't read the comments. I'll have to read them after. Yeah, I don't read them. There's probably so many weirdos. Alright, okay. Fuck it. It's the same thing. Hang on, I'm gonna go back. It's the same thing. So, it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Yeah. And only 10 minutes. Okay. So, like, when you feel like you're getting tired, just, like, push through it. It's all my stuff. That's all it. Okay. I'm already tired. I'm already so sore. Yeah, because you've been working out heaps. Eh? Yeah. Working out more than I ever have before. Like, what do you mean? Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Bring it up. I think these are called like prison squats or something. Oh. 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 Is it over? Oh. Oh. I was just about to say if you want an advanced option, but then I just decided not to. I did these yesterday, but V sits. Oh. 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 oh, fuck. These. I'm already sweating. I need to take my jumper off. <sighs> Just finished the workout with Riley. It was actually really hard. So her type of workouts are all 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest in between, but it didn't feel like 10 seconds. Like it was just really hard. And then we did a little ab burner at the end, but if it all saved in this vlog, I'll obviously just leave it in as it is. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I might even sit down and do a little booty, either a booty bar class or a Pilates class. I'm gonna go onto the Breathe Facebook group and see what other workouts I can do. Maybe I'll film some for my Instagram. It's literally 7.30 in the morning and I've just done a 25 minute workout. Like, who am I? <laughs> Alrighty, update. I did end up doing a booty bar 20 minute session on my live on Instagram. So hopefully you guys 
like caught that but if not i'd post on my story anyway it's not like you can go back and see now but just letting you guys know um what was i gonna say yeah i'm gonna make those pancakes because i just realized last vlog i got so freaking excited about my fucking wig i didn't even cook the pancakes so i'll show you guys how i make them again with the ricotta then we have to go back to Renault fitness and pick up a gym part because there was a few washers missing from the pack and also one of the um parts was like slightly off so it couldn't like latch on properly it's really hard to explain but we're just gonna have to go and exchange that but that's an easy fix i think we just have to take out one two three bolts and then take that off and then put the new one in uh, but other than that um peter said that he needs to tension the cables before he can start using it so Maybe he'll figure that out today. And then tomorrow we're going to go pick up some hand weights, like dumbbells and barbells, like bars and weights, um, mainly for Peter. But I'll also use them as well from a girl that was selling them um, on my Instagram. Because when I did that post asking if anyone knew of any places that sell the dumbbell and barbell kits, everywhere is sold out. And she said that she's selling hers because she bought it and hasn't really used it or i think she said she thought it was something else anyways so we bought that off her i'm gonna go pick that up tomorrow though um so yeah we'll have a little home gym i ran out of my um ministry of cold brew so i'm just gonna make a normal iced coffee or actually i might make a hot coffee this morning with my nespresso machine so yeah i'm gonna make the pancakes and show you guys step by step again peter do you want pancakes Okay, so this is what the mixture looks like. You have to let it sit for around four to five minutes to thicken up even more. Because it'll just make your pancakes even fluffier. But oh my gosh, yum. I actually haven't had the vanilla ones. I always have the chocolate, but we ran out. So we're waiting for um, a new Elite Sups order. But I'm sure the vanilla ones will taste good as well. So I've just poured the pancakes <laughs> into separate um, pans so they cook quicker. Once they start to bubble, then flip them they're so fluffy and yeah they just rise so well freaking love them i think this one needs to be on a higher heat nice and there you have it i've already plated up peter's but it made about eight pancakes so four pancakes each this one's a little mini one how good so thick and fluffy freaking love them and then for toppings i use the sugar-free maple and then sometimes the whipped cream by aldi this is the aldi one and they're pancakes, pancakes and iced coffee this just arrived separately not sure why hmm. actually someone did say that Where they have different hot? huh I yeah they know. have different warehouses so this might not have been in the warehouse the other one came in anyways this is what i got for my workout so i can just have it resting against a wall just because i find it hard sometimes when i make up my own workout so i get random workouts and i'm filming i can't just go on my phone and see what's next so write out all of my workouts here it's kind of cool though because it comes with this so if you wanted to put this on your fridge or somewhere like you can stick these magnets at the back and then hang it on your fridge but yeah also came with these but i'm not sure what they are includes one marker two magnets four magnetic strips and four adhesive foam stickers oh okay so if you want to hang it on a wall i guess i don't know um but yeah this is the state of my room right now i'm gonna give it a bit of a makeover i'm also cleaning the house today so i'm gonna do all the floors vacuum all the rugs um and just yeah i'm gonna change the linen i'm gonna wipe down the bedside tables because i haven't done that in a few weeks get all the clothes away 
empty the laundry and yeah that's what I'm about to do see you guys up for a little time lapse Just made this for lunch. I tried to make it gooey. Let's see if it's. <gasps> it is. Look at that. Perfection. Just got a parcel. <laughs> I actually think it's from China. Glam Core. Oh, I think it's my nail kit. Multimedia Extreme Lit Kit. Maybe not. Okay, so this is what was in that package. It wasn't my nail kit. Um, I'll obviously share when I get that, but how cool is this for traveling? It's a skinny little light up mirror and they give you this stand. It's got Bluetooth, you turn it on, you can charge it. Hold on. Okay, well it worked for me before. <laughs> oh, here. How cool is that? And they even gave me a little version which I can use when I'm doing makeup videos and I need a little handheld mirror. Hold on. The brand is called Ricky Ricky, I think. Yeah, Ricky loves Ricky. This is the handheld one. Oh, it's already on. And then I was like, what is this? And it popped out. And then I realized it's for like holding the mirror up when you're doing your makeup. How cool is that? Oh my God, how cute. Peter's mum just came and dropped off some stuff. I needed eggs and ricotta and she got me some more edamame, <laughs> some toilet paper, even though we don't need it, um, chocolate for Peter and these for me. And she also went to my PO box and got some parcels. It's some co that I ordered. I needed some more. So I'll, I'll unbox that tomorrow morning because it's, dinner time now and I'm about to make some dinner. I think that's from Key Australia as well. So I'll unbox them tomorrow. But yeah, shout out to you, Marnie. I know you're watching. Thank you so much. Now I can make my pancakes because <laughs> I ran out today. Look at what I just made, Peter. A massive bowl of nachos. Why? Good morning, guys. I'm actually up a bit later today. I had plans on getting up at seven, but not sure what happened there. I'm gonna film another Pilates workout for my YouTube. Why is this not opening? Cause you guys loved my beginners one. So I thought I might do one and step it up a notch and make it a little bit harder. So I think, oh, that's such a nice breeze. I think I'm gonna set up outside here. Um, so I'm gonna get my tripod set up and film. So it'll probably be up 
already. So I'll leave it linked down below um, for you guys if you're interested. So I'm gonna go do that and then we have to go and pick, oh shit. All my sheets are on the freaking grass that I hung up yesterday. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna go and get that barbell and dumbbell set from that girl um, and return a part for the gym because it was wrong. I'm pretty sure I told you guys that. Anyways, but yeah, Peter's gonna do his first workout today. So I'll film like him running through like the types of workouts you can do on this machine. Also, I got so many comments when I said this is a boy's machine. I didn't mean it like that. I understand like girls obviously would use this, but I personally wouldn't go into the gym to use a machine like this. But yeah, I just meant it in a way as if like I personally wouldn't go to the gym and be like, oh, I love that machine. I'm going to go use it because I don't really like using like those kinds of machines at the gym. I'm more of like a group fitness type person when it comes to exercising. If you guys use this machine, I didn't mean to offend you if you did. It does have a leg press though here and then the cable machines at the back I'm going to definitely be using. I might use the um, shoulder press thing, not sure. Um, but yeah, there's heaps of different attachments and stuff like that that you can move around and mix around to do different exercises. So I'll definitely show you guys that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set you guys up and film a Pilates workout. Okay, so I just went to film the video. My battery started flashing, so I was like, okay, I'll just go change it to the new battery. That wasn't charged, so that's great. That ruined my plans on doing that. So I'm just going to have to wait for the battery to charge or even just do it tomorrow. I might just leave this stuff out there and do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go have a lemon water. I'll show you guys what I got from Co as well. My battery literally died on me, so I'm just using the other one until this one dies as well. Um, so yeah, I got a package from Co, which I'll show you guys. I'm just about to have my warm lemon water for this morning. And then when Peter gets up, I'll have a coffee and then we'll go. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for brunch. Not sure. Knowing me, probably pancakes, but no, I need to stop with that, even though I do have ricotta now. Okay, I'll show you guys what I got from Co, if this battery lasts. Um, so, this is the universal cleaner by the way i am aware that this is an antibacterial all co products are like non-toxic they're not harmful to you and your family they're cruelty free they're good for the planet yeah, i do understand that they aren't antibacterial i do have another spray i use pino clean sometimes um but on most surfaces and stuff like that it just cleans it so well um so yeah this is the universal cleaner i've had mine this for about let's say five months or so and it's just running out now also guys look what happened to my nail <laughs> gonna have to go to bunnings and get some acetone and soak them off um okay so yeah this is the pack with the different cloths what is that oh. um so this one's for glass i'm pretty sure this one's for bathroom like it's just all labeled so if you did want to use them for different things um, and you didn't want to muddle them up. Bathroom, and then these are just general, which I use in the kitchen, and I use those in the bathroom. So they're really good, and they, like, because they're microfiber, they just leave the surface just looking sparkling clean. These are really good when you have stubborn food stuck on your stovetop or even anywhere. Like, they're just really rough sponges. And then I just got another bottle, so I can have one in the bathroom or just keep it there, one in the laundry. Then I got another set of mop pads. I do have the mop, which is um, like a handheld mop and it has a little bottle so you can squeeze the universal cleaner and it's like sprays directly onto the floor and then you mop it up. You can see them on the website anyways. But yeah, I just got some more mop pads. I did actually post this on Instagram the other day and I wasn't sure if my discount code still worked, but it does. It's just Jazz Goes Fitspo apparently. Someone messaged me and she was like, I use your code all the time. And I was like, oh, that's good. Um, so yeah, Jazz Goes Fitspo, I think for $10 off if you're interested. But yeah, I've just really been loving. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I've just really been loving Co and yeah, it's just really good. It's been working for me. Um, and just makes cleaning really easy. And then I got a package from Key, which is up here. And I think Peter has claimed one of the glasses already. So that's good. So this is the collab with, okay, maybe it's not a collab. Maybe it's just their new styles or maybe it is. 
Oh, it's just their festival collection. These are actually really cool. Peter's like, let's wear these matching in Fiji. And I'm like, you don't wear glasses like this, but they actually would look cool in Fiji, I reckon. Um, these I'm pretty sure are the hindsight frame from memory. Yeah, hindsight. So I have these ones in all black and I love them. They just came out with like a neon yellow one, which is super cool. So thank you so much, Key. Okay, so we picked up the dumbbell and barbell set. Got a few more things from Bunnings and also went to the shops to get a few things. So I shall show you. This is what we ended up getting from a lovely girl that was selling hers on Instagram. I think she got hers from, what's it called? Jim Kid. Oh. Okay, the bar might fall down. what you get in here the weights are combined I think 47 kilos so I like that there's like little mini weights and, and then I'm guessing these are like clips and then longer bars as well so I'll definitely use this and she also gave me a step because she said she didn't want it so thank you so much also went to um, Bunnings to get a few things as well because it was nearby I just got this um, divider just for all of our like random like bolts and stuff like that from when we have been like building our furniture because we've got a few like random bits and bobs. Right now it's actually just in a box just randomly and it's so hard to find like if we need like an Allen key or like a washer or something. Um, and then I saw this, not sure what I'll use it for, maybe underneath the sink like in the kitchen. It's just like a little divider. Um, and then I got some acetone because I'm going to take off my nails. My kit should be arriving tomorrow, so that's good timing. I got these for my brooms and the co um, like mop, so I can have it nicely against the wall. Peter got this, not sure why. And then I just found these glass cleaners. Actually, we also got this for underneath the gym. So they were 10 bucks each, Eva foam floor mats. So it comes with four, a meter by a meter, but we needed a little bit more than that. So we'll probably use six of those and then have the other two um, as a mat to rest the weights on. So yeah, that's what we got from Bunnings today. Also went to my peer box. So I'll show you guys what I got. I already opened these, just some more labels from the little label code, just cause I needed some more. Um, I got some ham. I got some more sugar-free chopped chips for when I make brownies and cookies, some more eggs. Um, I got these for my soak off. So I'm gonna use that with aluminum foil with the acetone. Some more chocolate syrup. Peter got some iced coffee. I got this for my wigs. Um, I saw a tutorial that Cece Clark Beauty put up and she's like the wig queen. And she used this brand, but in the cream version, but I couldn't find that in Big W. So I just got this hoping that it will secure the bald cap. Um, and plus I actually did need a new like spray anyway. So hopefully that's good. I got a hair turban for when I do like hair masks and stuff like that. Also saw these eyebrow razors, which I need, like a mini little eyebrow razor so I can go around my brows to clean them up. And that's just like a little groomer with another little blade on the end. I just got some more clear elastics and that's it. That's all we got. Oh, and some nail files. I got a medium and fine. I think I'm gonna have lunch first. I might just, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna have. Maybe, yeah, I haven't thought that far yet. I'll unbox these and show you guys what's in them. Um, and yeah, okay, so here are the labels that I got. So I needed a hideaway one, some more supplements because I've got so many, towels, hemp hearts, pork crackle crumb because I'm going to put that in a, um, like a jar, bars, sauces, oh this is for my, um, for this, I'm going to put that on because it's super cute. Veggies, sweets, snacks, whites. These are for my um, laundry baskets. So I've got whites, um, darks, and then towels. I think I'm gonna need swing tags for those, but that's from Little Label Co. Um, I'm pretty sure my code still works. I think it's just Jazz 10. Um, and then I got this from Envious Dreams Personalized Luxe Sleepwear. 
thanks guys oh i can already see it since jazz oh my god i love the color okay hold on one sec how cute is this is it focused size medium that would be the most perfect fit it's so soft and then matching short oh my god i love these i wear shorts to bed literally all the time even in winter thank you so much i'll leave their page down below but if you missed it it's called envious dreams personalized luxe sleepwear thank you so much and then the last thing i got was a book which was different. It's called Darling by Cassandra Grodd. Hey Jazz, happy exploring. Enjoy my second book, Love Cass. Quotes with Cass, Cassandra Grodd. Exciting. I'm actually not even sure what this book is about. I don't even think I know who she is, but I'm definitely going to have to look her up after this and give it a little read and see what it's all about. But thank you so much. This is what our like random bits and bobs looks like. Just such a mess every time we try and find something we have to literally take everything out so i'm gonna put it all nicely in here and this is again from bunnings and that's what it's called i think it was like 10 bucks okay so this is what i've done so far literally just put everything in that was loose i wasn't sure about these because they're labeled so in case peter needed them like labeled i just kept them in there just in case but everything else that wasn't labeled i just put in here how satisfying. Batteries. This is for my um, prints. Tape. Random. Nails. Not sure where this came from. And yeah. How freaking satisfying is that? Now it's all in its correct spot. I just like to be organized with shit like this. Also, I decided on Kransky's for lunch and avocado. Basic, I know. Also, I put this on my water bottle. Super cute. I'm just going to have to wait for the film to kind of set in and then i'll remove this after 24 hours like the clear film but how cute is that um yeah these are just the costco crunchies that i got um a couple weeks ago um not sure how many servings that is probably like three <laughs> okay just finishing up my lunch i'm gonna attempt to soak off my nails Okay, so I watched a YouTube video. So if you're a professional, don't judge me. I'm gonna need some paper towel. Here's my acetone that I got from Bunnings. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour some in a little dish. Fuck. I'm just going to put some cotton pads in them. Soak them. Um, and what I'm going to do first is just, I don't know how well you can see, push up my cuticles. I don't have one of those proper, what's it called it? Cuticle pusher upper. So I'm just using the end of my tweezers, which works well too. I'm actually excited to do my own nails when my kit arrives. I wasn't going to mention the kit in case it's shit. Like, I'll just wait and see what i think of it before i share it because yeah i don't want you guys picking up a shit kit just because i bought it <laughs> okay i think that'll do all right so what i'm gonna do now not sure if you can see my nails yeah i'm gonna grab a cotton bud that was soaked in acetone and i saw a lady just breaking off half like she didn't use the whole thing and now I'm just going to chuck it on my nail. Get a piece of owl foil. Wrap it around. And secure it like that. And that's it. I'm just going to repeat these next few steps. Does acetone stain like your bench top or is it fine? Like should I be careful? Surely fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that again. Chuck it on this nail. And just repeat the same process. Do I have to wait for these ones to soak off and then do the other ones? Because how am I supposed to use my phone now? Okay, maybe I'll just wait for these ones. Um, they did say like 20 minutes or so. 
Oh, fuck, I forgot to file my nails down. Oh. Sweet. So, apparently you're meant to file your nails down, like to get the top coat off, but I've forgotten that, haven't I? Um, maybe I'll take them off and file my nails down. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Shit, these are the shittest files. What about this one? That's even worse. Do not recommend the big W files. Oh, I can see some clear acrylic. Wow, this is gonna take fucking ages. I'm sweating. Surely that's fine. Taking the majority of the color off. Okay, I'm so impatient. I just wanna see how well it's worked. So it's been on for about 10 minutes. Oh shit. Right. let's see oh yeah it has kind of taken off like a small layer I think I'm going to have to put them back on again though that is so gross what is that? What is that? Um, a dropper it should be like a clear dropper somewhere Where? in there I don't know in like the second drawer Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna use this dropper just to add more acetone. Okay, so I'm literally just editing this video as we speak and I didn't even come on and show you guys my nails after I soaked them off. So this is the result of my nails soaked off. I'm actually so glad I ended up doing it this way because before, if I was to rip my nails off, I would literally just bite them off and half my nail would come off with it and leave my nails so freaking weak and just disgusting looking so i'm glad that i did take the time to do that all up it did probably take me around an hour and a half so i did one hand and then um i probably scraped off the acrylic three times and then put more um acetone on the cotton buds and then put the alfoil on like 10 minutes at a time and I just kept scraping them. So all up probably like an hour and a half, but I'm just really glad that my nails just look healthy after it instead of just looking all yuck and like rigid and rough. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice base for when I put on my gel nails. So yeah, I just thought I would quickly put that in. I'll give you guys a little zoom up. Honestly, Janora have like changed my freaking nail game as well. I never really knew how strong my nails were because I always have acrylics on, but they honestly look amazing right now. I, I've never seen my nails look like this before. We just laid out the foam. Good old $20 foam from Bunnings. And then this is just the extra two pieces that we're just gonna rest the weights on. Looks quite good. Good morning, guys. Is it going to focus? I'm planning on wearing my wig today, so that's why I um, braided my hair. I'm wearing my new PJs, they're so cute. I just got a delivery, which is my ball for Pilates. I didn't know that it came with a pump, so that's good. Actually, how else was I supposed to inflate it if it didn't come with a pump? Anyways, oh, it's a bit dodge. Yeah, I got this one from eBay. It was like, um, I think it was like $15 or something like that. Um, all right, let's see if I can actually do this. That is the worst sound ever. Okay, I think they sent me the wrong size because this is, I think this is like 55 centimeters, which is the smallest one, which is not what I ordered, but whatever. Um, yeah, this is like, I'll, I'll test it out and see, because who knows, but I just thought it was going to be like a big one. Ooh. I don't know. Is that too small? Anyways, I'm going to check that out on my eBay. Um, so yeah, that happened. I'll be spraying that with Glen 20. That's for sure. I honestly can't even be bothered returning stuff. Um, especially if it's from eBay, it's seriously just too hard. <laughs> 
Anyways, and considering it's only like twenty dollars, I think I'll try it out first, see if it like is okay. If not, then I will look into taking it back, but should be fine. I'm also gonna get ready and do my workout. This is my workout that I'm doing today. This is from the JRF COVID-19 at home workout. So this is why I got my um, whiteboard. So I didn't have to refer back to my phone when I'm working out. So this is a three round, or even if you wanna do four rounds up to, I just wanna see how I feel first after doing all these. 20, 20, 20, high knees, wood chopper squats, one leg deadlift, reverse lunge to knee hop, heel touches and walkout push up. This is more like a lower body, like cardio workout, because there is a little bit of jumping um, to get your heart rate up, but I feel like it will be a good one. And then after you finished all five, no, six exercises, you get a 45 second rest and then you go again. No breaks in between each exercise. So let me know if you guys do this. I'll obviously film it, but I'm gonna go get ready and do the workout. Okay, so I finished that workout and then I did a little bit of yoga. Um, I didn't finish the whole video, um, but I was just so thirsty and it was getting so hot outside, so I decided to come inside. I'm gonna make a coffee and I also did rearrange my under the sink organization, so I'll show you guys. So yesterday I got this from Bunnings and I just am gonna use it for like all of my dishwashing tablets. I'm just gonna put my other cloths in there. They're for my little handheld, where is it? This, which I just got from Coles, I'm pretty sure. Wipes, and then those um, diamond sponges from Co. And then this is a, an essential oil that you can put in um, with the universal cleaner, but I haven't actually um, used it before. This I'm pretty sure is just from Kmart, all of my other washing stuff. And then I don't really need this down here, but I can't put, any of these here because it's too small <laughs> um, and then this is meant to be like a bin but honestly who's going to use this as a bin <laughs> so we just use this storage we put in our mortine spray in here these are the tablets that i get from iherb they are plant-based and mineral ingredients biodegradable and phosphate free and you get 45 of them i can't remember how much it costs but um they clean it really well so yeah, that's where I'm just storing that at the moment. And then I don't really have anything else underneath there. So that's my under sink organization. I'm going to film a makeup look. Is that better? I'll do this. Yeah, that's a bit better. Um, but I'm going to pop on the week today. So I'm just going to pop this on first. <laughs> and I'm going to glue it to my hair. I hate when this happens. Bald cap on. Apparently Australia doesn't have oh, the um, Schwarzkopf glued cream because she uses it like to secure this. And I think she kind of um, like after she uses this bald cap, she throws in the bin and then every time she puts a new wig on, she gets a new cap. So I don't know how this is going to work. So I've got the cap on. This is my wig. Oh 
honestly, she did the best job on this. Um, for those asking, it is 180% density and it is also, what else did she say? 22 inches. Um, but if you want to custom make a wig, you can just DM her. Okay, let's see how this is going to work. I don't know if I'll secure it here because I don't want to... Oh, I might. So I got this from eBay. She recommended it. It's called the Bold Hold Extreme Cream. I'm only going to use a little bit of it because I probably will take it off um, by the end of today. But it is designed to keep on for a couple of days. Um, I personally... Oh, I guess it would be comfortable to sleep in. But I think I would just prefer to take it off so i'm gonna grab an old makeup brush and put the glue on the cap don't put the glue on your hair <laughs> and i also have a glue remover coming in the mail as well i'm not gonna go down all the way all right so then what you want to do Love how I'm doing a tutorial as if I've done it before. Now you're going to want to obviously try and stick it down as close, well, as close as you can to the bald cap. Well, that actually worked really, really well. Okay. Now, I probably should have put the glue on before I secured that side, but the first of everything. Okay, wow, well, that just made it look 20 times more real doing that. So glad I got that glue. So obviously if you were to wear a wig like this for like a long period of time, I'd go all the way around. But because I'm probably going to take it off at the end of the day, I probably won't secure around here. I'm honestly that obsessed with this wig. All right, I'm going to go film a makeup tutorial. Um, so I'll show you guys the look I decided to do when I'm finished. Okay, this is the look. I just took my jumper off because I was taking a photo and it almost took my whole bloody wig off. I kind of like that the glue isn't like super, super like strong because I can still take it off. I thought it'd be a bit of a bitch to take off, but this is the makeup look I did. Something a bit diff. I'm obsessed with purple recently. So I'll have that up on my YouTube. About to attempt to cut Peter's hair now. Can't believe you trust me with it. What do you want me to do? A cool fade? Surely I just shave it off. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this wig. I didn't think I'd be able to put it up without it being like noticeable. There's lots of little like baby hairs here, which you can bring forward. Oh, I'm just obsessed. I'm still in my stacks top from this morning's workout. Guys, he's fully making me do a fade when I've never done guy's hair before in my life. Maybe do it see here. See how it goes like that and then back in. Oh, you're getting complicated see now. See that? That's the one there. So I'll just start off with maybe. Well, I go well. I I'll just do all the back first and then. But you need to know where to start. You don't know where waiting, to start. Waiting on the fade to stop, like here. That's even. Like yeah. there. Like that's where you want it to start fading up. Yeah. Fucking hell. Like, it's your I'm just gonna go like here and then, like. I'm just gonna sing around my neck. Did I? Ow! Oh, it's a grass. Yeah. They're just like really softly. It's not like the hair clippers. It's probably what's freaking you. You're doing it wrong. What? You went too high. Your hair's so thick there. No. I can't help it. Yeah, I can't do it too. How do I do that? If you fuck up again, we're stopping. 
It's going up like that. I'm attaching it to the skull. I'm not going like that. You're flicking it. It's going to be fast. It's scaring me. It's slow. Bro, I've never done this before. Yeah, this thing isn't fast. Fuck. <laughs> Fix this up. Go on. Who's fart? Don't go side. <laughs> Why? I think I've actually done it. Let's have a look. Oh, that it looks a bit dodge. Nope, fix it. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's having to dodge. <laughs> it was just the lighting, I reckon. Oh. Oh, shit, that was my phone. For someone that has never done that. Oh, maybe I'll let's have a look, do a little spin. Yeah, that'll do. Surely. So One of those tall glasses are like fine. Oh my god, look how perfect this is. Yum. How good does that look? When you're eating, do you guys like have to have the tea towel next to you? Because I feel like it happens every time I'm eating. Like I have to like always have a tea towel. Even when I'm eating with a knife and fork. But Peter thinks I'm weird. One of my parcels arrived, it's from Elite Sup. So I'll show you guys what I ordered. I'm actually running very low on protein. Yes. We got some more chocolate Oxy Whey. This is literally our favorite. I got some more banana Oxy Whey Zero. This is my favorite for my pancake recipe. I don't know why, it just makes them a bit more firmer and fluffier, this particular protein. So I got banana again, because I loved it last time. Then I got some Vitaworks chocolate. What else did I get? Oh, yes, I remember. I wanted to try the Destiny Fat Burner red candy sticks, probably because they weren't allowed to say red skins, but I'm excited to try that. I looked at the macros online and it's, yeah, zero carb, zero sugar. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I might use it as like a pre-workout before I work out today. I got a whole box of my favorite protein bars. Salted caramel. These are literally life. I'm definitely going to have one today. But I keep mine in the fridge because, yeah, I just find the taste better like that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, they've sent me. What is this? A towel, Muscle Nation. That's a bit cool. A red gym towel. That's quite good for the machine. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. I'm going to have to order some more protein because that's not going to last very long. Um, but yeah, I'll leave my code down below for Elite Subs. It's just Jazz 10% and it gets you 10% off. I'll definitely let you guys know how this one goes as well. All right, this is on the agenda today. Finish off putting together products for my giveaway and take a photo. And then this is how I film now. Like I like using this mirror, not mirror, um, window as like a form of lighting because it just makes it really soft and just real, like without any fake sort of artificial lights. Although when I'm not filming, I do my makeup on this desk. And and yes, this is what it's come to. Again, when I'm filming, I just don't even worry about putting shit away. And it just always just gets to that point. So yeah, I'm going to clean this now and then do my giveaway. Okay, so I got carried away and did my makeup when I was supposed to be cleaning. 
I just took my wig off and just took a few photos, but I freaking love this look. I think I'm going to film it. Like, look how dewy my skin looks. I used a cream blush. I used those freck things that I got, like the fake freckles. Um, these lashes are really long, but they look really good with the eyeshadow because it's quite minimal. And then, like, for my lips, I just have a blush, like a liquid blush on with a lip gloss on. I actually really like it. It's like natural glam. Anyways, I'm going to go and clean this mess up. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have for lunch yet. I just did have one of those smart protein bars because I was craving them. Um, so I'm not that hungry. I might make a coffee though, like an iced coffee, another one. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you want me to film this makeup look because I'm living for it. I tried some new products as well. Freaking love it. Just trying out the Destiny Fat Burner. It's also a pre-workout as well. Um, it says it's in the flavor red candy sticks and online people have been saying that it's supposed to taste like red skins, but it tastes more like red frogs, the lily. I actually really like it. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm just going to do a hit workout. I think just Google or YouTube one and do it. You're going to try it, Zip? <laughs> okay, this is the workout that I'm doing from the JRF. I chose the intermediate workout this time. And this is a full body blitz workout. Um, I'm not going to be doing the alien squat jumps because I feel like I won't be able to do them. So I'm just going to do normal squat jumps. So this is the workout. So drop sets, 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. So complete all those exercises in a row, no break. And then after you've completed one round, then you have 45 seconds rest. And then the second round will be 20 reps of each. Again, um, 30 seconds rest. 15, again, rest, 10, then rest, five reps, and then rest. So yeah. I'm going to be dead after this. So Peter's just ordered KFC because they're doing a free delivery promo. So I'm going to make my own popcorn chicken keto style. So all I did was I cut up um, chicken breast. I whisked up an egg and then that was just almond flour. Sorry. Or well, you can use almond flour, but that was just almond meal. Um, and then I put in some onion powder. I don't want to touch it because my hands are still dirty. Onion powder, um, salt and pepper, um, vegeta, or any other herbs and spices or seasonings you want in there. Coated them, and then now they're all ready for the air fryer. I'll just pop a little bit of olive oil on top so they get a little bit crispy, and that's it. Literally at-home popcorn chicken, and it tastes amazing. And there you have it, popcorn chicken salad. I use this Asian dressing from Undivided Co. I had a little taste of it before and it's really nice. But that is my dinner. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. How freaking fast has this week gone, honestly? To be honest, I've been forgetting to have my lemon water, so I remember this morning. Um, outfit of the day, I'm wearing my Carly Collective Racerback Crop. I freaking love these. I have this in this print and cheetah and I love it. I thought I would whip out a pair of my Amen tights and I forgot how much I freaking love them. They just suck you in. Sorry, that's the kettle. Um, and they're just really comfortable. I love the ribbed material. Okay, so after I finish this, I'm gonna go on to breathe Pilates and find a workout. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Because I got that ball, I think I'm going to do one of their um, ball workouts. Let's see. 30 minute fit ball cardio workout. Okay, I'll definitely film this one for the vlog. I might um, time lapse it or like fast forward and put music in the background. And I'll list all the exercises as well if you have one of the balls and you want to do the same exercise. Well, depending if it's good or not, I'm sure it will be. But I'm just going to scroll this. Ugh. Today is Good Friday. Um, I my family is Catholic, so like every year we just don't eat red meat um, on Good Friday. So I'll be having fish. I'm gonna try and fast though. So after my workout, I'll have a coffee, which technically breaks your fast. But I mean, I won't have my first meal until about two or three. I just feel better. 
is honestly so hard to drink. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Anyways, I need to find my little attachment for my vlog. got a bit sweaty in that that was good that was actually really fun i didn't think it would be like that to be honest i don't think the small ball made it difficult or i couldn't do any of the exercises because the ball was small but i did look on when i was buying it it said it was recommended for my height obviously if you're taller than me that would be way too small but it kind of was the perfect size even when we're doing those um exercises on the ball but yeah, I rate it. It's fine. Um, I actually really like that workout, so I'll try and keep in as much as I can, and I'll put a description of what the exercises were in the description in case you wanted to do it, and the timing as well. I honestly am sweating, like my armpits are sweating after that. I forgot to put my watch on. Well, I thought I did, but it didn't like record it. I think I burnt around 250 cows. Like my heart rate was like 130 the whole time. Um, but yeah, I will leave that workout in the description in case you want to try it. I'm going to go have a quick shower and yeah, jump on some emails to reply to. I just went on to my website. Well, I haven't actually launched the website yet, but I'm like, obviously it's in construction at the moment. Um, but you can put a page up um, for people to put their email in so they can be notified when it launches. I haven't even promoted like a swipe up i've literally just put it in my bio yesterday in my um on my instagram i put it in my bio and i've already got 52 email subscribers that have put their email in and obviously gone onto my page and been like oh she's got a website and then put in their email so they're notified when it goes live that is crazy well i'm telling you guys now if you go on to my jazz handmade instagram click the link in my bio it should be just or you could just type in jazzhandmade.com it should come with like a landing page with my logo and it's all nice and pink and you can just put in your email so i'll send out an email um when it launches so you guys are the first to know at this stage um i'm still in like i wouldn't say final sampling process um i would say i'm halfway to three quarters of the way through i haven't got my packaging sampling yet I also haven't got my third round of samples yet for other designs. So I've got another batch of new designs. And then after they have been sampled by me and been worn and I've tested them out, then I will get a launch day and then start bulk ordering them, obviously. But yeah, I have everything else set up 
obviously like I've registered my business name and done all of that also paid for my website um, so that's like a subscription I'm just using Shopify because I know so many business owners that use Shopify and they just said it's so freaking easy to use and it's quite affordable so I'm using Shopify which so far is good like I'm still just getting used to putting everything on the website I'm just putting like random shit on there just so I can like have a feel for it but yeah that's where I'm at with my jewelry also for those asking it will come in silver as well I had a few messages for rose gold if the demand is high I will see if I can come out with like all the pieces in rose gold as well but that's only if you guys want rose gold but for the launch i'm just going to do silver and gold plated i was going to do a nine karat gold collection not for the launch i don't think i just want it to be as affordable as possible nine karat gold is very expensive but i think down the track i am going to do like a exclusive limited piece nine karat or even 18 karat gold like collection and have like limited pieces um or if the demand's high to have it in the current designs then i'm like happy to do that but down the track, definitely, I do want to do a 9 karat or 18 karat gold collection because I personally love 9 karat and 18 karat gold, even though the samples that I've gotten that are gold plated are also very good. So far, I've worn them for about four months now. Well, I've got one pair of earrings in that I've had for four months and they haven't tarnished and they're gold plated. I just thought that was cool that 52 people have already put their email in and I haven't even like said to do it like that's really cool i can't imagine how many people would have subscribed to the email list um if i did promote it on my stories but i will eventually but you guys are the first to know so yeah i'm gonna go have a shower change my battery because it's flashing and have a coffee okay so we just went to the shops to get some calamari this is the one that i got it was just frozen and i defrosted it in the microwave so just natural squid rings Literally no carbs or anything um, and I'm going to crumb them. Well, I have been crumbing them with almond flour So in here I whisked an egg. I think I'm gonna need one more egg because there's more defrosting um, but for the crumb I made um, it with almond flour some onion powder garlic powder herbamia some paprika and that's it and I've literally just coated these with some egg and then I just use this and coat them in the almond flour crumb and then put it here and then what I'm going to do is shallow fry them you can probably cook these in the air fryer as well but it does taste better when it's fried with oil just gonna grab them all out and I also bought some tarte sauce from Farmer Jack's as well because that's where we got it from we didn't realize that all the shops were closed because of Good Friday. So I'll show you the tarte sauce that we ended up getting as well. Pretty sure if you live on the Gold Coast, Amberella Fine Foods stocks it. I'll show you that in a sec. So I got a Caesar salad dressing. That's Peter's leftover KFC. And then this is the tarte seafood sauce that I meant. Um, I'm not sure if it's like a tarte taste, but I reckon it would taste really nice with the calamari. So let you guys know how that goes. Okay, here's how the first batch turned out. They kind of did break off like the crumbing, but still good. Did his salmon. I am cooking some in the air fryer as well to see the difference, like if they sort of keep intact. And then I just made a little coleslaw salad and just mixed in some mayonnaise. And this does taste like tarte sauce. Yum. Okay, verdict, guys. I think the air fryer held the crumb a bit better and they're a bit more crunchier. Whereas <laughs> that's from the pan. Still tastes good though. That sauce is bomb as well. Hey guys, little update. So I did a JRF at home Tabata workout and oh my god, it was actually one of the best home workouts I've ever done. I recorded it on my Instagram. So I'll save that into my highlights and yeah, so you guys can do it because it was honestly amazing. Um, we just got dressed. We're going to go get some grilled fish. Um, I might have some sweet potato chips. I'm not sure yet. That's if they have them. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to have grilled fish and maybe some salad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we did today. Ate calamari, went to Farmer Jack's and did a workout. And I've just been like on my laptop, on my emails all day. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and update you guys. I should be getting my samples. They're all finalized in two weeks. So I'm super excited for that. 
I just got an update just now and my packaging should be here next week if not early the week after so that's super exciting it's really exciting when something like comes together we might finish off our game of monopoly tonight and just chill but holy shit look how freaking clear my skin looks like my skin is loving me right now i actually have nothing on it i literally just got out of the shower i need to moisturize this is what we just did this was chocker block with cardboard boxes and we're taking it to the tip or whatever place we can drop off cardboard boxes there was so many this is from like a couple months worth of online orders and parcels pretty much no. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't even shut. <laughs> he had to take those out. Where are those? I think we'll be able to snap them in after. Anyone that lives in Perth, it's in. Where is this Wangara? And you can put any sort of paper and cardboard in these big skip bins. All right, so we just came back from the supermarket. We went to both Coles and Woolies because there was actually nothing at Coles. This also cost so much, like literally thinking of going back on HelloFresh because Peter's not doing keto. It's just, yes, yeah, so much more affordable than like this. Like, I think this costs like $200. Anyways, we got some um, beef mints we got some steak i've always wanted to try these so i was like fuck it i'm just gonna buy them i also crave a coffee in the afternoon and usually i would have two coffees a day but i'll try these decaf nespresso capsules some chicken peter just got some frozen stuff some more almond milk broccolini um cherry tomatoes peter's stash my chocolate that i'm gonna make treats with no shoe. I wish they had this at Woolworths, but they only have it at Coles, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe they do. Um, I got some Avalanche sugar-free drinking chocolate, some more maple. I got two of these. Some Donata at Coles. These are actually so good. They're new. They're like mini salami sticks. Eggs. Peter's literally obsessed with Sunkiss Zero. Some more sweetener. Roast chicken for lunch. Some broccoli. And then this is just fish. Fish and salmon. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what we got for the week. We've got some frozen meat still, but I'm pretty sure this will last us. I probably might freeze one of those as well. Good afternoon, guys. I've just come outside, um, got my coffee. I'm trying out the Bailey's pods. I mean, I wouldn't say it like really tastes like Bailey's, but I did put a teaspoon of the Avalanche sugar-free drinking chocolate in, so it's more like a mocha and it is nice. Um, I'll definitely try those decaf ones as well because yeah, like when it comes to around this time, like four or five, I just crave another coffee for the taste, not for like a pick me up or I need energy. Like I just love coffee so much. So that's why I got the decaf. I'm going to go onto the breathe Facebook group. I don't think I'm going to do like an intense workout today. I think I'm just going to do either yoga or maybe just a low impact Pilates session. Probably more yoga. I really need to stretch my body. I haven't actually really done a full like half an hour or 20 minute yoga class before. I've done I think 15 minutes after a workout this week like just to stretch afterwards and then I just got sidetracked and I just stopped doing it. So I didn't do the full yoga workout. So I'm going to go on to the Breathe Facebook page and find a yoga workout. I'm pretty sure there was one posted here not long ago. So I'm just going to do that. I might just set you guys up so you guys can see, but it's just basically just going to be stretching for about 20 minutes. Intoxicating your energy 
first time in so long you felt the heat Happy Easter everyone. I just made Easter pancakes and I just made my own little Easter eggs in my chocolate mold just with some Vitaworks white chocolate and then that's the lint. I just finished filming this look for my YouTube because so many people asked me when I did this look on Instagram so I decided to film a YouTube tutorial on this glowy skin with faux freckles. I freaking love it. That's all I pretty much am doing today. Um, not really doing much for Easter, just staying at home. We might play some Monopoly or something like that and get a workout in later on. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Easter. And yeah, I'm just going to go and clean up this mess. Even though I literally cleaned it yesterday. I just realized I haven't wrapped up this vlog here. I've just been stuck editing it. I've just been editing this look and the other purple look that I filmed last week as well. So I'll have them up hopefully this week on my channel thank you guys so much for watching i know this is a bit of a longer vlog because i've been so bored and i've just been literally filming everything that i've done but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye